lot has happened since the death of the Makuta. I've noticed my island has changed around me, and so have I. I'm not the Matorn I used to be a few months ago. I'm better than that. I have responsibilities, as the Turaga say. Anyway, this is where my story begins. I just returned from a long journey from Metronui, and I had no idea about the dangers that I was returning home to. I thought killing the Makuta was the end of my troubles, but no, they've only just begun. More threats started to rise from the darkness, things that we never were ready to fight. That is when the Toa and the Turaga decided it would be wise to consider talking about the secrets of the past. Great to see Takua again. It's been so long since I've seen our little chronicler. Liwa, you, you and me both know that Takua ain't no chronicler anymore. He's a Toa, and he has duties. Looking over Metronui as it's being repaired is a large duty, something that I'm sure that he could take care of. Gally is over there with him, searching for survivors. I hope they find some. It's been a long time since anyone has, has inhabited that island. Do you think he will remember us when he sees us? Come on, Liwa, it's only been a few months. But just think about it, he could be out there, all alone, cold, hungry, starving. Or it could be right behind you. Takua! Oh, Takua, you're home, it's been too long. Uh, thank you for the warm welcome, Liwa, but I need those lungs later. Oh, sorry. So, how was your trip back? Yeah, and what took you so long? Brothers, I promise, it wasn't me, it was that. Your transport? Yep. It kept malfunctioning on the way back, almost as if it didn't want to come back to Mononui. That's odd, seeing as we built that thing from the body of the Rakshi. Oh, what the heck? You're home now! We should throw a party! Speaking of, where is everybody? It's just you two. Oh, heh, yes. Tohu couldn't be here. He's a little busy looking over Tokoro after all the things that's happened there. Well, for a few short months, I'd say we made some good progress. Ah, uh, yes. Thank you, Bahatu. I couldn't have done this without your strength. Or speed. Ha. Yeah. The city should be back and running soon. Thank you very much for giving a home to all the Tomatoran and Pokoro. Don't imagine it. I know the Matoran like heat, and a desert is the place to be. Yeah. Kopaka said the Tomatoran can go stay in Kokoro, but ha, I think he was being sarcastic. Uh, sir? Ah, greetings, Hafu. Greetings, Mahatu. Tahu. Why have you come, Matoran? I am simply to tell you that Takua has returned from his journey. Ha ha! So our brother is back from Metronui. I'll stay here to oversee the repairs. You go and greet Takua. He's probably been missing you. Ha ha! You don't have to ask me twice. And Pahatu, thank you again for all your help. Oh, oh, okay, he's gone. <laughs> Oh, poor Hatu. Okay, you're doing great. Put your backs into it, guys. I am here to serve my liege. What news do you bear for me, Akmo? I am simply to tell you that Mokuta Teradax is dead. Oh, what joyous news you bear. 
I've been waiting too long for him to finally kick the bucket. So tell me, how did he go down? Eviscerated by his own Roxy, perhaps? <laughs> no, my lord. He was killed by the Toa of Light. The Toa of Light? When did the Mask of Light choose its host? I don't... I don't know! Answer me! Uh, uh, about a few months ago. And you waited for now to tell me! Uh, I, I'm sorry, my liege. Sorry? Sorry? That's all you have to say? That Toa's very existence is interfering with my plan! You are going to go back to that island and monitor everything he does. When he eats, when he sleeps, when he- Alright, alright, I get it. Get out of here, you little insect. Nothing must interfere with my plan. Then why do you send a petty Matoran to do all your work? That petty Matoran was once the greatest scoundrel back in Metro Nui. He even played entire cities with the Makuta's plague. If you sent me, I would have already put a bullet in the Toa of Light's head by now. You've never actually fought a real Toa, have you? I most certainly have, Brute Talker, and you know it. Your brother was simply a Matoran in Toa armor. These Toa are real. They are powerful. I know it. These Toa aren't like the Toa Metro. These Toa are the actual blood of Matanui himself. Then why didn't you send me to kill him? Because I have better use for you in the future. I sent Akmo only to monitor them. Not to go on a killing spree. Those Toa will tear you apart in an instant. You underestimate me, Bruchaka. But, if you're so sure that I'll be pulverized by these little cretins, why don't you just go and kill the Toa yourself? I cannot leave Voyanui, because if I do, Axon will become suspicious. No one except Akmo, you, and I can know about our plan. Because once our plan is set in motion, nothing can stand in our Thank you so much for the warm welcome, brothers. It's great to be back. Except, what's wrong, Takua? Jala's not here. I was hoping I would see him on my first day back. Your friend Jala has been very busy ever since the destruction of Takoro. Yes, and whenever he's not working in Takoro, he's working on the autopsy on... Ouch! What did you say? I said the autopsy... Ah, ha, 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 stop hitting me! Liwa, can you take a hint? What do you mean, Autopsy? Thanks a lot, Lyra. Sorry. We were gonna wait until you were settled in before we told ya. What is it you wanna tell me? Oh, would you look at that? I think I hear my laundry calling. I need to go. Goodbye. Maybe we should just show you what we're talking about. Well, Takua... Here it is. Mata Nui. 